what this video is going to encompass is a couple things all right i have two optima batteries here red top yellow top i have a noco genius charger one of the best chargers i've found out there on the market thank you to the guys at noco for sending me this charger it's a great charger not only does it do um regular lead acid batteries it does agm absorb glass mat which is different from gel batteries so gel batteries and agm batteries are not the same it also does lithium batteries what i want to show you guys a couple things this battery is dead this one is fully charged the noco genius charger has an option if batteries are less than five volts it claims claims that they can be brought back to life so let me show you this real quick okay so here voltmeter in the middle 12.99 volts on that yellow top. Can you see, see that? 12.99. Okay. Check the red top. 0 0.188. 0 0.189. You can tell that the red top is dead. Dead, dead, dead. When I put up a uh, when I put a um, battery tester on it, a load tester onto the red top doesn't even show anything so here we go that little needle right there showing nada nothing and I load test it nothing okay so what I want to do is I want to bring the noco genius charger in here and we're gonna force it black to negative red to positive okay now on the charger, you have a button, right? This is your button that gives you all the selections. It's in standby mode right now, okay? What we need to bring it to is 12 volt repair. Got a 12 volt repair. You can see right there, four volts. Pumping 12 volts into the dead AGM with Optima. See if we can bring this battery back from the dead. It took about six hours, but you can see it got up to 618, 619 voltage. And I'm going to do here, it went back to, to standby mode. I'm going to put it into 12, uh, 12 volt AGM. It's actually recognizing it now. 12 volt AGM. You can see so we're getting 10 and 10, 11 volts. Drops back down, goes back up, drops back down. So it's basically putting like a wave, a wave of voltage into the battery. So let's see if I can bring this bad boy back into back to life. That'd be pretty cool if I could. As before, had what point zero point one eight nine voltage volts if I remember. But it's about eight thirty at night. So let's see what happens. I don't know how long this is gonna take. This could take a couple day, a couple days. Who knows? So it's Sunday, about 8.30. Let's see what happens. All right, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, it's been about 24 hours. Yeah, a little bit longer than 24 hours. 20, 20, 20 about six, 26 hours, 27 hours that this, been, that this Optima battery has been hooked up to the NOCO Genius 5 charger. And it looks like it's coming back to life. The, the, um, if it was fully charged, the screen light would be steady green, but it's doing its last thing. Um, making sure everything's correct inside the battery so it's gonna do that blinking dimming in and out green that it does for a little bit so that could be I've seen that happen for days so I'm having good expectations for this charger 13.5 13.05 volts looking at the battery did get warm so that comes a that kind of if it gets hot if the battery gets hot uh, Usually means that there's a dead cell inside the battery, but it did get warm there for a little bit, but uh, we'll see. I'll come back in the morning and maybe this will be 100% fully charged. I'll do a load test on it. I'll actually show you what the voltage is, then I'll do a load test 
and then I'll put it back on the charger after I do the load test and top it off, make sure everything's good to go. But uh, that's pretty amazing if I can get this dead, dead battery. I mean, it had what, 0 0.189 volts in it. If I can get this battery back from the dead with this NoCo Genius charger, amazing. Just beautifully amazing. All right. If you guys, if you guys are interested in that charger, links are down in the description below. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I did it. I think I brought this battery back from the dead. Not like Jesus or anything, but I think I brought it back from the dead. Resurrected it, as you can say. So, check out the voltage here. Still have the NoCo Genius charger set up. 12.81. Let me unplug that. And I will do that so I can show you real quick. I will disconnect here. And this will go to standby mode so you know it's disconnected. Standby mode, 12.81 inside that battery right now. <laughs> it took about four days to actually bring this sucker back to life. But I did it. I did it. I should say he did it. That little guy right there, the NoCo Genius Charger, brought this battery back to life. You saw what the voltage was at the, re at the very beginning. So that is very impressive. Let me do a load test on this thing. Take those off. Take this off. Okay, see the needle is right, oh, right below 12, or right below 14 volts. Hold this for 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Holds at 800 right there at 1,000. Yeah, didn't bounce back as well, I'd like it. As, yeah, it didn't bounce back as well as I'd like it to, between the red and the okay. Hit it again. And it's staying stable. So, looks like I brought this battery back to life, guys. Not me. The NoCo Genius Charger. So, if you guys have any doubts about a depleted battery, a depleted AGM battery at that, this little guy right here brought it back to life. If you guys want, I'll put some links down in the description below to some of the chargers I have here in Bundy's garage. Uh, I'll be coming out with a video where I show you the different types I have. I have the NoCo Genius Charger 5 and the 10. And I have the 2x2 two two as well that allows you to charge two batteries at once. But I am very impressed, very impressed of where we started and where we ended. If this video, if you found this video helpful or funny or any way useful at all, subscribe to Bunny's Garage and I'll keep them rolling for you.